Uh, good afternoon and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Pauline Mwente and basically my YouTube channel is about my life in the Netherlands. So please don't forget to like, subscribe and share to your friends. And also don't forget to turn on the notification button because it's very important when I upload a video you can be notified so that you can keep on watching. So today I want to continue talking about uh, the CIFIC uh, integration exam. As I mentioned earlier on my previous video that it's an exam. If you want to relocate to the Netherlands and stay for more than three months, you have to prepare for the exam. You do it and you pass. And actually it's not everyone who is supposed to do it. There are some people who are exempted from it. But uh, so I've talked on my earlier videos about the speaking part of it, the listening part of it, and also the reading part of it. And actually today I want to talk about the third section of the exam, which is knowing the Netherlands culture. Yes, it's very important. You have to be tested on it. And that's why you have to get prepared well. You have to read and to do a research on how the Netherlands culture is because it is very important. For example, you're going to be tested on the um, education system here in the Netherlands. You're also going to be tested on uh, medical systems in the Netherlands. You're also going to be tested on a transport system in the Netherlands, which is very, very important. So I want to share briefly with you how I prepared for this that uh, section of the exam and how I managed to pass. First, if you remember from my previous uh, video, I talked about uh, Hunter Hapo, which are, those are some books which are recommended for this exam. And actually when you buy them, it's like uh, they cost around 25 euro. It's a package of three books. There's one which uh, you practice how to speak. You also practice how to read. And also there's another book uh, which talks about the Netherlands culture. On that book, you're going to be taken through about all the systems. And actually the book contains about 100 questions. So this is exactly what I did. I crammed all the 100 questions. And actually the good thing with these 100 questions, you, there's a, the question is there. As also, there's also a photo. And then uh, there, that makes it easier for you to understand. For example, if I can remember one of the questions, they will uh, test you on uh, who is the uh, king of uh, Netherlands. What is his name? And actually on the photo, you will take, you will, you will be shown like two uh, persons, two men. And if you prepared well and you've mastered well, definitely you're going to choose the right answer. The good thing with this uh, section, it's very simple because the questions will never change. Whatever you're going to see on that book, whatever you're going to prepare on that book, that is exactly what will come to the exam. There are 100 questions, but they will test you about, I think, 30 questions. And the good thing, again, with this uh, section, you are given multiple choices and also on the question, there are some photos. That will make you easier to choose the right uh, to choose the right uh, answer and in fact this is the easiest part of the exam and most of the people just get 10 out of 10 so it is very important you prepare well you get this uh, section right you get like 10 out of 10 because maybe the speaking and reading part of it you can get lesser so this will boost your overall marks so i would advise you do this especially for this section eh? you purchase the hand Harper book or you can also download from youtube you master all the hundred questions and uh, you are ready to do for the exam you are ready to go sit for the exam and pass so for now i wish for those who are preparing for the exam the best luck of it get prepared well so i say all the best for those who are preparing for the exam so have a nice time uh do do please don't forget to like subscribe and share to your friends